so hello guys welcome to the course marketing management today we are going to start the chapter number one as i told you that every time i am going to record the chapter before coming to the class so what's your duty is to before coming to the class you have to visit this and watch this video every time we have the classes on saturday so on friday or thursday i will upload this particular video every time before before the actual class is going to be happen so that you have you have the idea what we are going to learn on saturday and you have the query questions or whatever the doubt in your mind after watching this video so that these all things we can discuss one by one into a class so the purpose of this video is to make yourself clear about the concept make yourself have a, some basic idea about the topic about the things which we are going to learn in a detailed way into a class so that we can give some live examples some um, practical examples in the classes instead of discussing more theories and so let us start the chapter number one introduction to marketing management and under this chapter we are going to study this particular things like what is the meaning of marketing and marketing management what is the definition which is given by many scholars and also which is given by the AMA American Marketing Association we will further see what is the core concept of marketing which includes needs wants and demand and also we further divide the demand into eight different type in all the types what are the being a marketing manager being a marketers what is our role what is our strategy how we will uh, do or what are the strategy we have to apply in this particular situation of the demand or in different type of demand what is our actual role is then we will further move and we will study why is marketing important we will see importance of marketing in a general way being a student what is the importance being an individual what is the importance being an organization what is the important being a society what is the importance of marketing how the marketing change the way society is living and further we will move and see that the scope of marketing scope of marketing is also known as the area of marketing where we are applying the marketing there are basically 10 area or 10 scope of marketing as per the philip kotler the father of marketing management and at the last we will see the marketing management philosophy there are five major philosophy from the production to the holistic marketing management and also we will see some small things like differences between marketing and advertisement marketing and selling and the nature of marketing whether the marketing is a science or art so these things these are the agenda these are the objective of our chapter number one which is called as introduction to marketing management let us start so what is the meaning of marketing the first thing which comes to our mind is what is marketing so remember one thing my dear students that marketing is not about the buying not about the buying and selling marketing is not only about the advertising the product marketing is not only about the producing the product marketing is not only about the delivering the product to the customer marketing is all about combination of these things but before coming to that one marketing is the delivery of customer satisfaction at a profit remember one thing from the class one day one of marketing management marketing is all about customer satisfaction our total role of the marketing is involving around a customer how to satisfy the customer how to retain the customer how to increase the customer how to give them the extra satisfaction which is called as a delighted customer so marketing in a short way or in a one line we can say marketing is the delivery of customer satisfaction at a profit of course profit is there from a customer uh, from an organization point of view if you will see further there is a proper definition which is saying that the marketing is the social it is a societal process and managerial where the management is required process where by the individual a single customer and group group of people it may be the family it may be the colleagues it may be the friends it may be the society in a group obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and value with others so marketing is it's not isolated product marketing is all about customer satisfaction whether the customer is in a group customer is in a individual form or customer is what he want or what he need in a particular time they are exchanging through that one and also we will see that the 
it has two fold marketing as it is the major point or focus point is always customer you can see the first fold is saying that the attract new customer by promising superior value and second one is keep current customer by delivering satisfaction we have two type of customer one is our actual customer who is buying our product who is using our product who is consuming our product we have to keep them happy we have to keep them satisfied so that they cannot move to our competitors they are not thinking about to change so this is one way and second thing is always we are looking for the potential customer which is available in the market potential customer maybe they are not using any product potential customer maybe they are using the competitors product so whoever is the potential customer of our product we try to attract them and this by this way we can say the marketing has the twofold as per the kotler marketing is all about ccd cvp friends just for making yourself how to remember the things when you are going for examination but from an understanding point of view as for philip kotler who is the treated as the father of marketing is saying that the creating communicating and delivering customer value at a profit is called as marketing creating here means creating the product as per the demand of the customer communicating means we have already we have come created the product now we are communicating through the different sources through the different promotional activities and delivering the product or reaching to the customer or where the product is available delivering the customer value at a profit is called about the marketing when we talk about the marketing management remember one thing whenever the term management comes to comes to you it is true to everything whether it is you are learning marketing management whether you are learning financial management whether you are learning project management whether you are learning any course which is related with the management always remember management is all about utilizing of your resources in an effective and efficient manner to get the desired result okay let me tell you one basic things why we are studying management if this questions come to you the most basic answer or the most important answer is because the resources are limited as our resources are limited whether in terms of capital whether in terms of land whether in terms of labor whether in terms of enterprise these resources are limited in number so we have to utilize these resources in such a way or we have to manage these resources in such a way that we can get the maximum benefit in an effective and efficient way so same thing if you apply in the marketing means we are utilizing our resources in such a way to get the all the functions of marketing or all the activities of marketing in such a way that we can get the desired result related to the marketing is called as marketing management also you can de decide or also you can define marketing management in that particular term that the management functions like planning organizing leading controlling of all the marketing activities in such a way that we can achieve the organization objective even you can see here the analysis planning implementation and control of program designed to create build and maintain beneficial exchange with target buyer for the purpose of achieving organization objective i let me make it more simple that when we are going to do any marketing objective or when we are going to achieve any marketing objective whether in terms of production of marketing product whether in terms of promotion whether in terms of any other activities advertisement marketing research in such a way that we can get the desired result in effective and efficient manner is called as marketing management now i i hope that you understand what is the meaning of marketing management you will apply the same management concept in every subject financial management getting the desired result in efficient effective and efficient manner of all the finance financial activities is called the financial management same for the project and remember why we are studying management because the resources are limited let us move further now the core concept of marketing these three are known as core concept of marketing which are needs wants and demand see first thing remember need is the things which cannot be created by the marketers why because it is the first things and it is the state of felt deprivation 
state of field deprivation means you cannot invent these things it is automatically generated means if you feel hungry nobody is going to tell you that you are feeling hungry and go and take food so hunger is a need food is our need cloth is our need safety is our need even a child who is born she doesn't require to tell by other people that she is hungry or she requires some uh, clothes for the safety or she requires some what is there whenever she is feeling hungry she used to cry so there is no use of marketing over here in case of need because need is not invented it is the felt deprivation and the basic things without that you cannot be live or you cannot be survive in this particular world is called as a need a need were not invented now the next stage of the need is want needs become want when they are directed to a specific object as you know that the marketing is a social process marketing is a economical process so in a, we are living in a society in a society whenever we are directed or we are shaping we are giving shape to our need it will become a want need food is our need but we when we are giving a shape to a food or when we are we have the different option for its food to satisfying our hunger that food will become a want cloth is our need but when we are giving to the form or shape to the clothes by the influence of other people or by the influence of society or by the pressure of society that clothes will become a want like one example was a consumer in the us need food but may want hamburger or soft drink so when we are showing the direction to our need it will become a want and wants are shaped by our society and here the role of marketer is there he has to find out the what is the want of the society then he will create the demand for that one then the further stage of mark want is or the next stage of want is called as demand basically being a human being everybody wants everything everybody wants car everybody wants house everybody want the all the material strictions of this world but can everybody afford it no so both thing must be satisfied means want must be there plus your paying capacity must be there to become a want so we can say that in terms of marketing wants demands are those wants which is ability which is backed by ability to pay and willingness to pay if both things are there then your that is called as demand means what i'm saying is that two thing must be satisfied to become a want one is willingness to pay yes we are willingness to buy a car first thing then ability yes i have the ability to buy a car if both things satisfy then it will come a want sometimes you have the money you have the ability to buy a car but you are not willing to buy a car you want to invest this money in some other places or you want to keep this money in your bank for your future purpose for your investment purpose so that is not a demand for a demand to become a demand must be your ability to pay plus your willingness to pay and willingness is all about the want many people want a mercedes only a few are willing and able to buy it now the important term is coming or an important statement is coming marketers don't create need why because it is a felt deprivation without that things you cannot survive so here there is no role of marketing marketing or marketers marketers along with other societal factors influence want as i told you and the next level of want is where the buying capability is there buying capacity is there it will become a demand let me tell you one thing there the term marketers is coming anyone from a seller side from a organization type side anyone who is involved in the process of marketing is called as marketer whether the person who is selling the product he is a marketer whether the person who is asking to fill a marketing research form to do a research in the field of marketing is called as marketers anyone who is involved from a seller side from a organization side which is who is doing the work related with marketing is called as marketer so don't be confused about the term marketing so this is the basic definition of demand now the important part is types of demand there are eight different types of demand first we will understand what is the meaning of each and every type 
along with we will see in that particular situation being a marketing manager or being a marketer what is our role is the eight different type of demand are negative demand no demand latent demand decline demand irregular demand full demand over full demand and unwholesome demand let us see one by one basically negative demands are those demand which is not liked by the people which is disliked by the individual and people are paying money or people are buying these things or there is a demand of this particular product to avoid to avoid certain things like if i am saying that the who wants to buy a medicine nobody one people are buying demands for the medicine is there why for the sickness who want to do a operation nobody but the operation demands are there doctors demands are there insurance demands are there helmets demands are there so these are the demands which we which is there in the society which is not liked by the people and this is to avoid the some mishap and to avoid some what you call as the diseases we are taking this particular or customers are buying this particular product so being a marketer marketing manager or so being a marketers if your products are like this what is your role like if you are selling i am not talking about the selling of insurance which is related with the benefit benefit or for the investment i am talking about the insurance which is related with the government force which is related with the buying as per the law and which you are buying because you want to be safe or your family will be safe if there is mis happen to be happen that's why negative demand i'm saying insurance is also a negative demand whether it is like that so this is called a negative demand so if your product is really comes under this type of category which whether the product is not liked by the so we have to be advertise or we have to communicate our product to our customer in a emotional way or in that way sometimes emotional way or sometimes in a threat way so that if you are not going to use this product you may going to be failed or you are you may going to be fa facing this particular problem in the future to survive to avoid the accident to avoid the further disease our product is going to be help you so that is the meaning of negative demand further we are moving and we are seeing that the, there is a second type of demand what is called as no demand no demand doesn't means no product no demand means the product is available you are capable of making a that particular product but because of the unaware about your product because of the uninterested in your products people are not ready to buy your product because of two things one is awareness unawareness and second thing is uninterested suppose i am going to give you two example suppose your company is making a product which is related with the farming new technique of farming and the farmer of the country is adopting or using the same traditional way of farming with the help of animals with the help of oxes and with the help of tractor or something like that your technique or your machine or your uh, product is going to help them in terms of price in terms of in terms of uh, what you call as the cost or in terms of labor also but they are unaware about that things or so what is the role of marketer here we have to give them the awareness we have to tell them about the benefit we have to give them the comparative analysis when they are using their traditional what will be the benefit how much they can earn when they are using this particular product what what will be their change in the earning so this is called the no demand to come into a demand another example suppose your product is related with the foreign language and you come to the college and you ask the students who is interested to learn german language nobody is ready to learn why because they are not interested in case of farmer they are unaware you make them aware now your product is selling in case of students they know about the german language that there is a german language which is a foreign language but they are not interested why because they don't know the benefit of german language so you will you will go then you can counsel them you can tell them if you have the knowledge of three particular language you are going to be 
successful in your life in your career especially in the european country so many of them are convinced with you and they know that what is the benefit of that one they are going to be interested to enroll your courses so that is from no demand to the demand it is the role of marketer here i hope you understand this you see here it is also written farmer may not be interested in a new farming methods and college students may not be interested in a foreign language courses the marketing task is to find a way to connect the benefit of the product with people natural needs and interest so this is the then the third one is latent demand but it, latent demand is the hidden demand consumers shares a strong want which cannot be satisfied by the existing one it doesn't means latent demand doesn't means your product is not good it means something extra customer want and how we can identify this things it's a challenge for it marketers suppose hotel hotel you have the hotel business and people are staying in your hotel and when you they are going from your hotel you will ask them what extra things you want or what are the feedback from you generally they don't tell anything negative about the facility like uh, everything is good like the bed is good this one is there but sometimes they have the saying like that if there is a wi-fi system in the in near to the room it will be very or if there is a pleasant smell whenever some people open the door it will be very good so these are the latent demand in the mind of a customer so whenever the next time they will visit to you and you are providing them these things they will become your permanent customer that is the basic meaning of latent demand even latent demand finding the latent demand of the customer will help to go to the upgradation of the product latest version of the or the next updated product why samsung is going from the one s1 s2 s3 s4 5 so there is a some latent demand there is a some gap which a marketers want to find it and try to fix it into a next product or net next upgraded product then the next one is the declining demand declining demand means every time the product demand is going down down maybe in terms of uh, frequently down going in terms of quarterly in terms of half yearly or in terms of annually the product demand is going down so being a marketer what is the role it's a warning signal so being a marketer so we can modify the product we can reduce the price of the product we can try to sell more Conveniently, we try to change the product we try to upgrade the product so if the product declining demand is there we have to find out the reasons why the declining demand is there why are people are shifting from our product to the another competitor products so that we can take the action accordingly by less frequently or not at all irregular demand is different from the decline demand in decline demand demands are always going down but irregular demand sometimes our the demand for the product is very high sometimes demand for the product is low sometimes the demand for the product is constant we have seen on daily basis also like suppose seasonal demand in those is winter season the clothes winter products or the winter clothes demand are increasing so being a marketeers we have to be keep our eyes on the environment whether the products are selling at which month my products are selling more in which month my products are not selling on at what moment of time it which day of the month my products are selling at what time of the day my products are selling more even have you seen that the sometimes company are offering or mobile company are offering free calls at the night night from 10 to 6 there is a free call why because it's off time and instead of getting no money they are getting a uh, they are getting a few money when people are calling at the free cost free calling or even at the very less price discounted price are there so these things company has to find out marketer has to find out what is the what is the time when the product demand is very high what is the time where the product demand is less what is the time where the product demand is very less means peak hour off peak hour off peak season peak season according to that one they will make their strategy then we'll then there is a situation which is called as ideal situation where it is known as full demand when the supply is equal to the demand or demand is equal to the supply whatever the product you are producing all products are selling and there is no further demand remaining so it's ideal situation theoretically it seems very good practically it is not there but whenever we are able to fulfill the 
demand of a customer we can say it's a full demand and the company try to win in this particular situation over full over full demand means when the demand is more than the supply unexpectedly sometimes the demand of one particular product is increasing so in this case being a marketer what is your role is we may try to increase we may try to increase the supply if it is not possible we may try to increase the price so that we can get the maximum benefit but here also the chances of that new new companies or your competitor will also get the benefited so how to take the maximum benefit in case of overfull demand that is the main concern for a marketers so in case of overfull demand we have the some backup or we, we may have the some alternative product we may have the some supplementary product so that your name your brand can sell your alternative product as well in case of overfull full demand unwholesome demand basically some product are available in the market which is not liked by the society at all which is not treated good by the society or by the individual but still the demand is very high i hope you understand what i mean to say for example cigarette for example it is not good for the health but still people are buying alcohol porn websites you see there are demands are there there companies are earning a huge profit on those products but as a whole as a individual as a society we don't prefer this product and it's undesirable product because the consequences are not good for a individual or for a society so this type of product is unwholesome demand so i hope you understand what is the mean of meaning of demand what are the different type of demand what is the role of marketers in every type of demand let us move further and we will try to study why is study marketing or you can say that what is the importance of marketing i write only three things here only three things i have written but with the help of these three things you can write a three pages or five pages of essay like see play an important role in society vital to business survival profit and growth offers career opportunity if you see very carefully it is there in a three level or three category like the last one offer career opportunity it is talking about individual second one or the middle one vital for the business it is talking about a business and organization what is the role of marketing there then the last one or the first one in the slide play an important role in a society how the society change with the help of marketing activities or with the help of marketing functions so let us see one by one being a individual maybe you are a student of marketing so you want to do good in your academic in the field of marketing you are studying marketing being a researcher you want to study something in the field of research to get get some results or to get some solution of a problem or to get some answer to a problem that is also also on the individual basis you are a marketing manager you want to find out the demand of the particular product into a market you are going to do a marketing so offer career opportunity comes as for an individual you you may be a student you may be a researcher you may be a employee or you are going to study the marketing you are going to do something in the field of marketing so that you will get a career opportunity this is one part second part being a business see business is all about profit how we can generate the profit by through our products how we can create the product on the demand of the market how we can get so these all things are related somehow directly or indirectly related with the marketing when we are developing a product it is all about marketing demand when we are uh, pushing our product into the mark into the market through a selling process that is the marketing the role of marketing is there when we try to convince our customer through a communication marketing is there so whenever we are starting a product whenever we our product is going into a new market whenever we are try to make more profit in the market the role of marketing is involved so into a business there is a marketing department into that marketing department there are the different functions by the different people their role is different their function is different and they all are related and they are try to do all the things for the purpose of survival for the purpose of profit for the purpose of growth 
or even sometimes for the purpose of changing their business so marketing is important for a business for their survival for their profit and for their growth into a society and as an individual as i told you that we are people who are living in a society we cannot live in isolation we are not animals only animals and god can live in isolation human being is a society animal human being is a person who can live in a family who can live in a society who can live with the colleagues so in a society people are influenced with each other and one people is influenced by one product he can give influence to the other so how our way of eating our way of wearing our way of education our way of uh, changing the total culture total function everywhere the marketing is influence influence of marketing is there in our in our fooding habit in our fashion in our wearing habit in our education marketing rules are there directly or indirectly consciously or con- unconsciously we are using the marketing to change our society so by this way we can say marketing is important or why the study of marketing is there <clears throat> i hope you understand this point now the thing is moving further and we are saying what is marketing also sometimes you got this type of questions what is the scope of marketing as per the philip kotler there are 10 things where the marketing is applied of course why 10 things are there previously let me tell you previously it was only three things where the role of marketing is there or where the role marketing is applied but as the world changes or as the world gdps are increasing as the country gdps are increasing so the world gdp is also increasing so the many different products are coming so their scope is increasing so that their way of doing marketing is also increasing previously it is only goods services and ideas now it is 10 things which is there what do you mean by the goods goods are all those things which have the ownership which can be tangible things services which are intangible we cannot have the ownership but we are paying for the services which, which is provided and ideas are those things which will be the experiment of today or which one is the some idea of today of the future product so whatever the idea of today we can also market it for our idea we can also market it for our experiment so that it will become a product of it tomorrow we will see one by one so because of the scope because of the benefits because of the differences are there between different different things even if you see carefully we can divide or we can categorize all these things into a three categories it may be the goods it may be the services or it may be the ideas but as things are broad let us study one by one like see goods you can see the some examples i don't have to define the goods it is a simple things tangible things your ownership is there you pay the product you pay for the price you use the product you finish the product you consume the product that is the goods services we are not buying the product we are only buying the services for the uh, for that from a that particular product it may be the courier services it may be the mobile sim services it may be the uh, train or plane uh, traveling services experience experience let me tell you sometimes people are uh, confused about the experience and places see basically experience are those things which a company generate with the help of their own goods and services like they have the goods and services and then created some experience and they want to uh, give to the their customer so that that customer will feel happy like the disneyland disneyland is experience with the help of some experiment with the help of some mixtures of goods and services so that people have this new new product in their world and this type of product will require a separate marketing about see mountaineers they have they have the experience of going to the mountain and they have they will share it the, with their colleagues and they have the there's they require a different type of marketing visiting to the oldest church of the world so that is the experience that is the different from the places then event nowadays events are totally big event required totally different strategy of marketing totally different way of doing the marketing like the uh, like some event It's a big celebrity event. It may be the World Cup of football or the cricket World Cup. It may be the uh, this one. What do you call it? Is the 
expo it may be the film fair award or the oscar award so these type of big big events require different type of marketing strategy then property property is the ownership of a person you may buy a product you may rent a product you may have the a share with you so property is also require different type of marketing strategy different type of marketing you buy a product you require a agent or you require some property dealer or require the agreement of that one so how to market these type of products that comes under the properties organization organization itself they will do as a whole they are, they are to build their brand image to do to build their product image to build their brand image in the mind of a customer so that the customer will prefer their product than their competitor product so uh, as a organization as a whole they are they are doing different type of activities they are doing different type of marketing so that company will by seeing their sign by sometimes by seeing their symbol they will remember the company itself they will remember the products itself they have the good image of that particular company so for creating a good brand image to creating a public relationship so these type of things organizations have their own way of doing marketing information information means from where we are getting the information it must be authentic it must be genuine it must be reported in the market so companies are doing like the newspaper they are doing their own way of doing we are the leading newspaper not only the leading but the reputed newspaper not only the re reputed but the authentic newspaper we giving you the, the right way of news like the internet internet books cds so through this way we are getting the information and whether the they are the authentic they are reputed they are the right source they are doing a marketing for that one idea as i told you idea of today is the product of tomorrow one time one gentleman has saying that the we have the idea to sell the burger in all over the world with a small counter and that idea was comes into a product in the form of mcdonald michael dells think that why people only rich people have the computers why not all the common people have the computer so with the help of this generate the, this idea he will develop a dell computers same way with the Mar maruti common man car these are the ideas which was sell or which require different type of marketing so that your idea can be get the fund your idea can get the uh, patent your idea can get the copyright and it will be the future product so these are the things like person or a celebrity celebrity require different type of marketing strategy so that their brand image will be good so that their whatever the product they are going to endorse whatever the field of their specialization people will like them people will follow them so that they have the different way of convincing the people like with the help of you can see with the help of slides film stars are there cricketers are there some other field of then places here the tourist places are there tourist places in a sense some company or some countries how to attract the people they have the different way of marketing you have the experience is the different thing and places is different things places comes under the tourist places so i hope you understand this all a different type of marketing scope for further study we will discuss the things in the class now let us move to the marketing management philosophy marketing management philosophy also known as the concept of mark concept of different marketing of that one so it ha it has five the production concept the product concept the selling concept the marketing concept and the holistic marketing concept you see here if you see the timeline of globalization if you see the timeline of industry revolution these all things are there of course production concept was the first concept which was there but it doesn't means it is obsolete now no still production concept is there still companies are using production concept still company are using product concept yes the latest concept is holistic marketing concept it doesn't means all previous concepts are not valid no they are there yes the production concept is the first one then the product concept then the selling concept then the marketing concept the sequence wise is like that but it doesn't means previous one was not there still all are there let me tell you about the production concept it was the first and oldest concept because that time when the when people doesn't have more choices 
and the company will only focus more on the quantity of the product more number of product uh, one time people are uh, there is what very famous saying people prefer the black car because there is no other color car company are making so these type of things are there in the production concept like it tells that consumer will prefer product that are widely available and inexpensive you will experience these things in today also you do all also like in china or india where the populations are very huge and people are sensitive about the prices but also they are looking for a good product as the labor are cheap and whatever they, they will produce they can consume by the huge number of or wide number of population that production concept is there marketers concentrate on achieving high production efficiency low cost and mass distribution when they will produce in mass in number they can have the automatically they will reduce the cost and when they have the low cost they may focus more on the more production so this is the basic meaning of production concept so we cannot say this concept is not valid today still many companies are especially those company which is making the fmcg product like the soap shampoo sachet this type of products they are making and they are using this production concept the product concept product concept is basically when the company is focusing more on the quality of the product than the quantity of the product because their customers or consumers are limited they know these are their customers and they are only making for this these type of customers like we can give the examples of iphone here we can give the examples of bmw here we can give the examples of rada watches here why because they are focusing on to the quality of the product rather than quantity of the product they know their their customers are only few they know their customers are located in which area they know how to advertisement for their customers so this concept is known as the product concept this concept says that the consumer favor products that offer the most quality performance or innovative features also they will give them some status into the society managers in these organization focus on making superior product and improving their over time also they want to make some unique product the selling product or selling concept is saying that the some product which which is not liked by the society which is not preferred by the society or which requires some push strategy from the marketers to sell in the product it comes under the selling product like unsound goods people don't want to buy as i told you insurance people don't want to buy encyclopedia people don't want to but some practices or some pushes in strategy is there to selling this type of product and when this is there this is called as the selling concept the idea of this concept is that consumer will not buy enough unless the organization undertake a large scale of selling and promotion efforts what is that selling and promotion efforts it include giving them the discount to the distributor giving them the incentive to the retailer giving the products for a on a credit basis so that they can also give on the product on a term basis like emi basis equally monthly installment people will can, can pay for that particular product this concept is basically practice with the unsold good goods that buyer normally don't think of buying such as insurance and encyclopedia when we are moving to the marketing concept marketing concept is saying only produce those product which can sell means first we have to see the what is the demand of this particular product to the market whether people are going to buy this product or not whether there is a we will make according to the need and want of the demand not according to the capability of the com company it means the job is to find the right product for the your customer not the job is not to find the right customer for your product but to find the right product for your customer so first we have to see what is the demand of the product what is the cost how customer value will be increased then we are going for the develop a product that is called the marketing concept and nowadays nowadays companies are following this holistic marketing concept where the holistic marketing concept means overall development or overall focus here this concept is saying that the, we not only focus on to the customer customer is one part that is well and good we also have to fo focus on our employee we also have to focus our internal 
internal marketing or internal bodies we also have to focus about to a society we also have to focus to a, our stakeholder like a supplier like our custom uh, supplementary products so overall development or overall focus is the main theme of the holistic marketing concept holistic marketing recognize that everything matter in the marketing and that a broad integrated perspective and there are four major things or four major part of the holistic marketing which is called as relationship marketing relationship with your customer relationship with your supplier relationship with your sponsor integral marketing it is the adding of all the things internal marketing inside the organization whether it is the marketing department whether it is the marketing research and performance marketing our overall output which must be satisfy the complete society now this is all about the chapter number 1 let me discuss something some basic things which you already learned in your principle of marketing this is the differences between the marketing and selling this is the basic things i hope you did not forget let me revise the things like marketing is the process of various concept in the form of chain marketing is a tree marketing is a big thing marketing is a continuous things where the various functions where the various activities are performing and selling is one of the branch or selling is one of the concept in the chain of marketing or also you can say selling is one of the stem into a tree of marketing marketing is start with the buyers and focus constantly on the need of buyer marketing always see first thing what is the need or what is the marketing demand of any product then they are going to produce the product selling start with the seller means preoccupied in the mind that whatever we are producing we are going to sell it that is the basic difference marketing always focus start with the buyers and selling start with the seller or marketing involve polling strategy polling means attracting because in the marketing we already have decided with the help of customer demand with the help of customer research with the help of marketing research that this things has to be produced so when we produce the product we will attract the customer by showing them the communication or by communicating through a different promotional activities it may be advertisement it may be uh, promotional activities and selling involve pushing strategy as this product may not be liked by the customer or it may not be aware by the customer so what is the best strategy for the selling is push the product by giving them the incentive by giving them the discount by giving them the various attractive incentive so that people will buy the product marketing seek to convert customer need into a product whatever the customer need is that we will make the product according to that and selling seek to quickly convert product into it. whatever the product we produce we want to sell it and marketing is a long under marketing their planning is a long orientation of the today product in terms of what will be the our two year plan what will be the five year plan for the marketing what will be the ten year plan for the marketing how we will proceed that is the long term plan in terms of marketing planning is short term in terms of selling like what we are going to sell today how much profit we earn today or tomorrow maximum for one month that will be the basic marketing is a long term and marketing is a short term a planning is a short term in case of selling consumer determined price price determined cost here again the main focus is the consumer so whatever the price we are going to set there are the different methods in case of marketing but in case of selling we have the only one methods whatever the cost we incur plus our profit we will decide the price in case of selling concept but in case of marketing we have the different methods cost is one of the factors another factor is expectation of the customer another factor is the competitors price another factor is the as per the market trend what will be the price or what can be the price of that one so this is the basic meaning of marketing or this is the basic difference between marketing and selling now the last thing because sometimes it is it has been asked what do you mean marketing is a science or marketing is a art so i leave it to you 
you have to justify your statement marketing is a science or marketing is an art by giving this hint is that science is all about with the help of experiment with the help of number with the help of quantitative things with the help of some logic you are going to prove it and art is all about the with the help of senses when we are going to approve something like if i am saying that the, i am comparing the data of previous year to the this year it's a science when i want to find out a trend of the future marketing it's a science when i am comparing the data with my competitors in terms of price in terms of uh, research in terms of my data in terms of experiment it is a science so we can say the marketing is a science but what about the art marketing is not art marketing is art how you package your product that is a art how you attract the customer by giving them the emotional or uh, emotional communication that is the art how it looks to a eyes how to attract a customer that is the art beautification of the product labeling of the product so we can say the marketing is both science and art this is all about first chapter and i hope before coming to the class you will watch this one and please keep your pen and pencil ready so that whatever the confusion whatever the concept is not clear with the help of some practical example we will see in the class thank you very much for your patience and for your watching